This video tutorial covers TK solver and calculations involving thermodynamic and fluid properties. In the navigation bar, there's a tab at the bottom for wizards. So click that. Function wizards gives us a listing of different wizards. The last category is fluid properties. We look in there. We see a whole listing here on uh, different fluid property functions that are available. I double click on the density function, brings up the function wizard form. The first argument that's needed is the unit category that's going to be used. We see in the middle here that the overall syntax and the first uh, parameter is for the unit category. The second one is for the substance. We can pull down here and see a listing of substances. You can also search by grouping pure fluids, mixtures, or you can define your own mixture as a uh, combination of pure fluids. So I'm going to go ahead and select uh, water. Next would be the uh, properties that are going to be used as inputs for uh, calculating the density. By default, it comes up with temperature and pressure. You can click the pull down, select a different variable. I'm going to go ahead and stay with temperature and pressure. I'll use a variable T and a variable P for those two. And notice here that Depending on the unit category that's selected, the units are shown on the form. If I click Build Rule, the expression required in order to calculate the density is shown here. And notice the first argument is a 1, meaning unit category 1. Then the substance has got a, a symbolic value with an apostrophe before it. Next would be the parameter indicating uh, the first input variable apostrophe T, that indicates that temperature will be the first uh, input parameter, then the variable that will contain that value, and so forth with the pressure as well. If I click OK, the wizard places that expression in the rule. I will just create a uh, rule now. If I tell it a temperature and a pressure, When I solve, I get the value. Notice that the units from the wizard do not come across. Uh, there's such a variety of possible units that you might want to work with uh, that we did not do that. You can uh, add your own calculations uh, to the rule if you want, uh, but the base units were Kelvin and Pascals and kilograms per cubic meter. So now you could uh, use the TK solver unit sheet if you wanted to add your own conversion factors to display those variables in whichever units you want. So the uh, function wizards can be used to uh, access all of this. The next thing uh, definitely worth covering would be the user guide and how it relates to these thermodynamic properties. There's a section on built-in functions in Chapter 10. And if we look here at thermodynamic and transport property functions, there's extensive help in here that uh, you definitely would want to print out uh, or at least review if you were going to be using these uh, functions. Uh, that ends this introduction to uh, using thermodynamic properties with TK Solver.